Oh shit! Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Jay Must Terry playing Killer Frequency. Like, comment, subscribe. Happy holidays. I hope you guys have a great time with your family. If you by yourself, talk to me. You know what I'm saying? But um, happy Hanukkah as well. I know that just passed. And in any other religion, I'm be happy holidays. Oh, by the way, my birthday's coming up January 4th. You guys want to get me a present, you know. You can also subscribe or also join my memberships, y'all. Without further ado, let's get to this shit right now. Got a cool loading screen. All right, all right. Down and dirty now. We down and dirty literally. Let's see. Oh, it's kind of fast. That's that's a fast uh damn. Um, thank you. Yeah, but there, you know, we, we we clean out here. I know we're in the trash in the alleys, but you gotta keep our city clean. Do I go near the sound? See, I'm brown, yo. We always die first. I know black people too, but sh shit, we die, we die. I don't know what happened, but we're gonna keep that on just in case. Just in case. Just in case, you know, from State Farm. Just in case. Ah ha ha. Yo, hop off my man, right? Keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Oh. Inspect. Anything in here I need? Nah, we don't need this. Put that shit back. Put that shit back. Hey, yo, you saw my face? Yo, he just needs a kiss. I promise. Hey, hey, who behind the- Hey, yo, stay away, bro. You gotta stay- He stayed away. For now. <laughs> oh, shit. Chill. Pause on that. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Why he look like that, though? All right, good intro, good intro, good intro. Okay. Ooh. Damn, I'm a DJ? I'm a radio host? You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or... I don't know, a... howl. Forrest, is this a joke? No, I... <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs? <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean... Does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... You sure you don't want to? Shut up! No, I'm just kidding. Listen to this, listen to this. Hey, that's cool, bro. That's cool, how do I... Oh, that's cool. I'm out here, bro. I'm living the DJ life. Oh, yeah! That's a tune I want! Okay, let's see what it says. Go to the tour, how do you DJ? Um, let's do a check. Right, let's do a check. Fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. Huh? Great. Now turn it off. That's crazy. I was just jamming, bro. All right. Up next, so phone cool. line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line, line one. Haha. <laughs> I guess the, um, that's the one. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? Shit. This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. Don. You get it? Yo, yeah. you got a setup, bro. It's a riot. Great. And button two <laughs> works just the same. This right up so. Let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? What do you mean by that? What like you mean I by said, that? the Peggy button. I wish you mean by Press that. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Yeah. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one. I'm on the pressing phone line. it, Peggy. It, Peggy 18, the uh, gaming company. Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. I don't want to do this. Sorry, I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey <laughs> now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? Damn. <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. GQ do. Oh, that's a whole man, bro. I mean, no trans. I, hey, I, I ain't discriminating out here. Let's open that up. Nah, we don't need more. Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. Oh, uh, we have to do it. What tester? What'd you say? Repeat that, Peggy. Peggy. Ayo, Peggy. Ayo. Ayo. 
Repeat that, please. Repeat that, please. It's the thing covered in buttons. What are you talking about? What is she? What? There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume slider is now. What is this for? That's These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Mm, 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 Play a mm, record mm. and change the volume with the music slider. All right. Seems to be all working. We Good done? Luck. Captain? Not yet, Captain. <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Ah, should not. What you mean by that, girl? What you mean by landing? I knew you had a fun side. It's my Damn. fun side that gets me in trouble. Damn. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. Guess That Scream, boy. thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. All right, bet. We'll say no more. Say no more. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16. This is cool. This is so dope. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm enjoying this. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start ah! taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. <laughs> we need you to guess hey, why yeah. they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? Yeah, some That's good. Crazy. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. <laughs> Which tape? Hey, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here Damn. in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Which one? Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Yo, you didn't give me shit yesterday, Peggy. Very Forrest, you do shit. have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. <laughs> we're going to need a scream That's... tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... That's crazy, my Forrest man. Are you serious? I won't do it. I hate that. What I become. <laughs> I'm sorry, serious. That seems like you, you want me to scream. You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest. <laughs> just do it. That's enough dead air already. I do it with a mic? Oh, cool. Like, ah! Yo, know, that'd be cool. Let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about ah! that. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to yes, guess that scream. Yo, Forrest, get your shit together, bro. Stop doing it. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. It's, ooh, I don't want to drown. We're going to do drowning. We're going to do drowning. <sighs> well, folks, there you have it. What Colin, was that, Forrest? If you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough. Fried dough. Ew. Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, blub, blub. here's some music <laughs> while you get dialing. Ooh. Let me chill, let me chill. <laughs> All right, now let's, let's, uh, let's go out here now. What do you mean? I'm not done. The music's gonna be like three minutes long, bro. Come on, I got three minutes to spare. Oh God, Forrest! That oh was my amazing. God! I know it's amazing. I did it. Duh! Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? <laughs> blah blah. Light enough, Forrest. <laughs> That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Run, Forrest, run! You talking about Forrest? You're going bright. Let's get that up. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh my god, already. Okay, my Forrest, boy. shut the music off. I suppose I shall do that. I suppose I can do that. Welcome to 189.16's The Scream. Caller. The Scream. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, 
Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. Don't I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, let's make sure. Let's you know. Let's be Welcome nice about show, it. Let's Leslie. be nice about it. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No. Look, I found a body. Why are you calling a station for that? <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Facts. Interesting setup. It is interesting. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? First, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. What? Do you I mean, think this hour. is real. Peggy, why would you, love you me watch happy it? if this is a prank? I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Yo, hold up. Leslie, let's, let's get this rolling. Let's get this rolling. You should report this to the sheriff. Mm -hmm. What was his name? Sheriff mm -hmm. Andrews mm -hmm. or whatever? That dude. I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Then why calling me, bro? I'm sheriff on a Matthews show. Kids going to be listening to this. I couldn't get any response from the department. Hey, yo, Leslie. It's never happened before, Get out of here. So I came to the station and... Hey, you better get her ass. I found him. God. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you I know what know? happened to him? Someone oh. got him. Ooh. Someone got up oh, very really? close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Animals. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. Bullets. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... <laughs> what? what? Oh, where the other... Is there anyone else on the station? Let's go with other officers. Other officers, I don't, yeah. I don't be one where are there. the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or... It was that gum? Whatever cops are supposed to Ew, do? my man's dirty. No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> we have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to Are go there myself. Me? Let them know what's going on, and bring help back with you. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? Jeez. That's why I called. Look at the office. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. What? Why? Why me? Yeah, why I'm me? radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. Damn! I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the what? only person equipped for what? the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask mm. questions to get information you can use. Uh huh. Keep That's people right. People talking. You That's know? right. I know. Hide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? <laughs> so I've Damn. heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can okay, talk to each other, do? discuss ideas, work together. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. What? I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever Damn. attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food it. tray slot. Can't throw it. Kobe! R.I.P. That's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Kobe! R.I.P. Try to break down the floor, find another way into the... No! Obviously find another way into the cell. Um, let's find another set There's of keys. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Kobe! Yes, there must be another set. Kobe! Where might another set be? Kobe! Damn. Yeah, shake him. Shake my man. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set RP, of keys on him when he. Kobe. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. One second. Come on, yo. Oh, we don't got all day. Sick. 
sorry, Sheriff. This music is getting intense. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Ugh. Please don't stare at me. <laughs> hey, yo. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks yeah, like I know. Matthews I told you. Might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? Damn. They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good. I Kobe! suppose. Damn. How are you feeling, Forrest? Oh, oh, my fault. I can't handle this all, all night. I think we can handle this. I'm quitting. Damn. I think we can handle yeah. this. Be confident. Optimism. Okay. Optimism is good. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit. Yeah, everything forest. happens for a reason. I think you're Feels right. Here. Though I have to say, I, well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. She's gonna <sighs> die. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. We'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Right. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together Damn. like you did earlier. You can do this. Damn, I'm tough! Back. Oh shit, she got hurt. What? This what do you is mean it's good. on fire? How the hell? Interesting. Did he just go Slow. up and smoke? Interesting. What happened? Wait. What? That whistling no, sound! No way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It hey, sounds like yo. whistling? Hey, whistling? yo. It can't be. Oh, my God. I can see him, but he's, he's dead, right? Right? Who, Leslie? Who? The Whistling Man! The Whistling Man? Who's the Whistling Man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead! He's... What the hell? He's Michael Myers. Oh, God. Uh. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? Yeah. He's coming this way! God. Lock the doors! Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors! Damn right! right. Damn. I can't go explore. Shit, I have to stay in here. Plan. My car is torched. We need to think. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Yeah. Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Is she going to think on her Let's own? Come on, it. bro. Uh, I'll just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. Yes, I know. Thank you. But thank you. For the applause. Wait. For the applause. How am I supposed to get us to the car? You run. You the run. The whistling man is right there. They're both the same. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Shit. I... Shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to uh. defend himself. There must be a weapon lock up in the station, station you know, right? Honestly. Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. Hurry up, hurry up. We don't no. got all day. No. No. Uh, shit. None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see That's anything right. earlier. Um, oh man. Uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Check that shit right now. Check the bat belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Ooh, a taser. Which should I take? A strong taser be nice, right? I mean, it's got to be the taser. Right? Has to be long distance. Got it. You, know, you shoot that I'm shit. Just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. that no i do not know i i can't hear anything Ooh. exactly it's gone quiet no more knocking shit nah kiso you said you could see, see the whistling it. man earlier can you 
Still see him? Let me take a look. No. He's there. He's plotting. I don't see him anywhere. It's plotting. But I can see the car. Squad car three. It's right there. Don't do it. Duh. He's right there. Don't do it. Okay. Don't do it, Leslie. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Nah, don't do it. Don't do Just it. lean on me. Yep. There you go. Are you so sure about this, Leslie? Ooh. No time like the present, right? Yeah. So. She did. Here R.I.P. We go. Again, RIP. you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to Damn. you soon. Good luck, Leslie. Good luck, Leslie. Oh! That's one dark. brave woman. God, I hope she makes it Yo, I hope this. she makes it too, bro. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, yeah. they always Keeps say you have I guess, to be right? ready for everything in live radio. Oh my god, let me leave. Oh, I gotta go over here and do something. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. It's a wisdom. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Yeah. And four. We're here, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez and the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. Fuck that. So I'm going Hell. to get us moving. Damn right. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Damn! Let him know what's up! Or it's. Yeah, take that! He fell, I heard that. Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get out of there! Drive, yes. Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. That's right. Sounds like you hey, handled that pretty well. <laughs> or hey, is that taser definitely the right call? Yes, I know. Oh I my know. god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. <laughs> I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowheres bill, but it's pretty damn close. <laughs> damn. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Each way, that's Slightly crazy. less if I put my foot down. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Damn. Just do what you did just now. And Gallows Creek it's is gonna going be to crazy, bro. Everyone's lives are on anyway, my once hand. It's <laughs> our responsibility. I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Take care. Why are you seeing Jonathan crash? Take That's care, crazy. Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. He sounds pretty cute. She don't look. Cute. Not for me, anyway. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. You know, I heard that. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. Damn right. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, yep. then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16 the scream for now here's another hit record for you all to enjoy press playing that shit press playing that shit time to go on the journey that is last processor with their hit song 19 hey they cook it up in the studio with these songs bro this is not what i signed up for peggy this is actually insane yeah, can i get out of here now did you really say it's gonna take her four hours this guy's gonna kill uh, half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Moody. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling. And killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. Just... Shit. Okay, what happened to him? And he's come back tonight? Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. Damn. Because, well, 
It was on this night, actually. Damn! Resurrected. Jumped into the river. What the fuck is it? Jason? Jason so talking about. alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Uh, the story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right. Fuck all that that's noise. The story. Fuck all that noise. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Mm. Mm. All right. Copycat Optimism. or Optimism. ghost killer. Yeah, that's right. everything. I guess we'll do our best. That's the spirit. That's right. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Hey. Maybe around 35? I'm tough! 35. It's in 3,500. Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Damn! Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? I should be more oh. protected. How many did you get before? Right? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15. Easy. 5,000 on the low end? Dream of that. Five million. Million. Million? Dude. Yeah, sometimes Damn. it's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Damn. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. What you mean by Time that? To turn the music off. I'm off, I'm off, you right. Turn that shit down. Okay, I actually gotta turn it off. Okay, damn. Damn. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, yeah. all right? <sighs> he's too big. Okay, uh, who is this? Shit. Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Compass. You know my name. <laughs> what the fuck? I've come back from the dead to kill again. Ew. No Frank one's Paul. safe. Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, <laughs> maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us? I, I mean, me! <laughs> we want cheese dusted pretzel. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Yeah, cut him off. You don't uh, deal with that. No, thank you. We also want a mechanism. Cut him off, bro. Damn. For anyone just tuning in. We do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Damn right we do. Anyway, this next Just one's look. dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Peggy, right. what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? Mm -mm. They think it's funny. But it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. Mm -hmm. We still have a show to do. We mm -hmm. already have another caller on the line. All right. I don't want to do no more Let's do this. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. It's been shut off. Oh, it's not been shut off. Oops. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream. I don't know how I feel me. about this game like Forrest this only. Nash. What? 
it's kind of dragging. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? And my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. I'm sorry, Sandra, you but the, the sheriff truth. is dead. We're trying to get help in from Henderson now. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. Okay, let's go. I drove to the edge of town like tea, run, bro. And now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Yeah, I'm right. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I just ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. Come on, bro. So I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Oh my god. Sounds like you lost him. I think if we find there anywhere else you can go. Is there anywhere else you can yep. go? Do you have any friends nearby? Well, I'm not going back out there. Music's crazy. I I can't whistle. I can't whistle. <laughs> oh, he's back. <gasps> Look, I don't know a thing about cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys. Hot wire that and shit. You have to help me. Oh, hot wire, bro. I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. No way, bro. I don't have a hot wire You're car. Listening to 189.16, the scream. Hosted by me, Good Forrest show. Nash. Good show. Your friendly neighborhood radio host. Oh, I'm tough. I'm mechanic tough. and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. <laughs> you know they're not even brothers. Damn. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, <laughs> go see what you can find. Where? The are out the door and Thank down the hall. You. Thank you. I can leave finally. Adventure out. What if I gotta use a bathroom? Damn. What it sounds This looks like useful. Really? So many locked doors, so few keys. This is kind of creepy. That down for now. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Shit. Okay, okay. What else we got? What else we got? We don't want any trouble. Oh, was that say? Hey, fam. Oh. We got something final we can actually venture out anything else in here scream okay volume daily news okay we don't care about that anything in here nothing 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 yo what if she's dead when i get back or she's not there anymore that would be some crazy shit bro. dead alone Whew. oh shoot let's see what's this way you see her <laughs> not getting in there tonight. Nah, really. Shit. Oh, a mouse. they got a mouse in here too? Let's try again. Damn. Alright, we got our shits, bro. Oh, the tray. What tray? Give me the tray. What, what tray? Uh I don't know what Trey's talking about, but shit, we keep him right there. Oh, the door's closed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wearing cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Oh. When you're ready, shut the music off. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Like We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. Hunk How do we start this, baby? <laughs> uh, I don't know. 
Oh, and screw the steering column. I assume so, right? All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Oh, shit, right here. Fuck. I messed up. Tell me exactly what you see. Check the serial number and strip. Oh, fuck, I messed okay. up. I can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. We should wire. have done the screwdriver first, bro. Fuck. Was the serial number the steering wheel column? Yup, yup. That's what we need. What's yes, the we serial need. number on the steering column? The number is five seven. I don't remember that. What's the okay? Okay, so it's five seven six. Oh, it doesn't start with a five. Oh shit! There's a zero at the end. There is, and the three doesn't come before. Yup, six red, yellow, red and yellow, red and yellow. Shit, they're red and yellow. Where's the red and yup yeah, right there? Strip yep. and twist together yep, yep. the red and oh, yellow. I should have had to do the screwdriver right. first. Fuck. I'm we fucked up. Red, and we yellow, and we twist, and we turn. Oh, she's cute, bro. <laughs> Perfect. Now shit the purple wire. Purple you know, wire. touch what this live to wire. Shit the purple wire, twist exposed, plug into the ignition. Fuck. I shit the purple. Shit the purple wire, twist in the exposed cable. Plug into ignition. As it says, it just says, shit the purple wire. Let's try Strip that, the I guess. Wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. Oh, from set three. <gasps> this is who we somewhere. We get somewhere. Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. I appreciate it, baby girl. Thank you. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Damn right. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Thank you, baby girl. Appreciate your life. Appreciate your life. We did it, Forrest. Damn yeah, tough. We sure did. My back Here comes hurts. another hit track that we're just this excited pound. to share with you. And remember, if you're also mm. having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday Trish. at 5. Take Damn. it away, Forrest. <laughs> oh, I, shall, I, shall. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable Damn. place to live. Really? Miserable? I said that. It's nothing personal, Peggy. For real. But it's not Chicago. Or hell. It's not really anything. What? Is that bad? Well, I like it here. People are polite and uh friendly, usually, if you get to know them. Come on, there must be something you like about Damn. this place. Yeah, you You don't notice the sing after a while. That's kind after of funny. a while you don't even notice the smell. Yeah, laugh. I guess that's nice. Smell? Uh. What the? There's no smell. You, you've lived here your whole life, Peggy. <laughs> you wouldn't recognize it by now. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. Ah. But Leslie gets back soon. Oh, man. Let's continue this Can game. Come we on. Come at on. least call Come off that stupid guess the scream contest now. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Thank you. Let's continue this. 12, it's only been 42 minutes? Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way that's possible. Caller on line one. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. I shall. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The, the Scream. Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian, Brian Ponty. I like that. Brian Ponty of... Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian. <laughs> Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say 
about what's happening. I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponte's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. Thank you, and thank you. Uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons thank you, sir. I can for some free pizza, right now. pizza here at Ponte's Pizza. Wow, Brian. Ponte's That's Pizza. That's really good of you. <laughs> you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can. Wait, 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 and wait. if you like it, well, you're in luck. You get two percent of company. Because we're running great deals. I'll <laughs> have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Sus. Oh, oh, Sus. No, 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 no. Okay, purchase. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Hey, don't worry about no, it. It's, it's all, right. all right. That's funny. Oh, thank you. As well, is foreshadow, bro. Hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. Hey, hey, free advertising. We've got a great that. special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Hey, Wait a uh, minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this free weekend. Free advertisement. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Bro, hey, yo. Uh, Peggy, hang up on him. Hey, Done. yo. Oh. Real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You how know how to that? play an ad, right? No, I do not. This right here? Sure. Yo, yo, put that shit in there. Done. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! Oh, that's not we good. got that's it not all out on Giblet Field. That's not going to play, we got bro. the Little Miss Harvest Turn this shit pageant, off. Princess Harvest Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, we can't play that. Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, loud, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. Okay. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hey hayride, hey toss, hey you there, safe donkeys hey there. and ponies, apple bobbing, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, bitten sand, licking, cracker crowning, and cat shop. Shit. And fake tattoo, face paint, and puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dance, and story what, what swap, and spelling bee, quilting bee, oh, and sewing circle, okay. pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. The festival Damn. is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Oh, uh, that's me. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, hey, folks, welcome back to the show. <laughs> we have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Welcome to the Scream with Oof. me. Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put That's Leslie on. Here. What? God, another one? Damn. I'm guessing you've not been tuned in Damn. to our show tonight. Damn it, son. What does that have to do with anything? A lot, Just bro. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Ooh, Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. No, bro. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said mm. someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teen. 
They get worse every year. Every year, bro. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. All right, all right. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's, That's the, whistling the whistling man. man. Of course it's <laughs> not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 That's years right. ago. That's right. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? In the boardroom. Upstairs. We got Shit. security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. Mm. And there's a set in the boardroom. You get up there, you see... Uh, no, I Maurice, that is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That Damn. crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And yo, we're gonna end it right there. But yo, if you guys want to see some more, I might put this on the, you know, members only post. So subscribe, join my memberships, and yo, you might get part two. Deuces.